Wizards of the Coast is afraid of virtual tabletops. It's clear with the recent announcements in the 1.2, though they have taken back and revamped in certain ways positively, there's still now this new cloud regarding virtual tabletops. They have basically taken everything away that involves anything with animations or furthering anything within your open tabletop game, essentially. They are now starting to target more of the tabletop gaming industry industry online after the pandemic and seeing how successful virtual tabletops can be and with them not having one unable to profit from it that's an issue though they revamped things in 1.2 going back in the OGL changing some things in the draft that is looking better though we are unsure if those things will stay around regardless the fact that they are looking to take away animations and many things incorporated with online tabletop gaming is a problem <laughs> like a big one. The fact that Foundry immediately made a statement saying that they want to have an open discussion about it, that the ability to take away animations or any effects that have to do with anything pertaining to D&D, are they afraid that they don't have a virtual tabletop in which that will be able to surpass anything that's on the market? Or are they only going to offer sounds and animations and very minuscule things to try and take that gap above their competitors to try and wedge themselves into the virtual tabletop scene. To me, this is just another scumbag follow-up move by Wizards of the Coast to try and kind of push the direction. Now with the 1.2, it's just the fact that Foundry, a company that I use, I want to have everything that I own. And if I want to add animations to my spells, why can't I? It's just stupid to me. And it just screams that they're afraid that they're not going to be able to go into the virtual tabletop scene like they want to. Or they want to have such a stranglehold on it that they want to make sure that they will squash all competition in the future so regardless of whether you use roll 20 or boundary or any other virtual tabletop this will affect you this is going to affect everyone that plays online and especially with how things were with the pandemic and now seeing that many people can play from home this is a big deal this will directly impact their virtual online gaming everything is going to be behind a paywall want a new colorful spell boom you want a new death animation? Boom. Dice roll? Boom. It's just going to be one after the other. It's never going to stop. It's just another thing that they can just profit from. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully this is not going to stay and we can get this draft revised. Hopefully they have open discussions with Foundry and other virtual tabletop companies so that way we can maybe have some collaboration and get what's best for the community. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments below. Hopefully we can not have this happen. Let me know your thoughts.